Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina, also known as OMG Lashes here on YouTube. So today, you guys, we are throwing it back all the way back. I feel like these videos, nobody does them anymore, really. At least I don't see them. I'm going to silence my phone because it's going to go off. As I was saying today, we are throwing it way back when people used to actually do tutorials. Now, I do tutorials, I love beauty tutorials, but unfortunately, they don't get the recognition that I feel they deserve. Tutorials in general just don't do very well on YouTube anymore. So I was like, you know what? I wanted to bring something back. I wanted to show you guys a few tips and tricks on how to get a bomb, bomb, thick, juicy long winged outliner I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my favorites lashes my favorite lash glue my favorites um, eyeliners not only liquid but also gel and um, I think my favorite like lash tools that I like to use all that stuff anything that has to do with eyeliner we're talking about it today I think that is everything that I really wanted to mention to you guys. So grab your brushes, grab your eyeliner, whether it's liquid eyeliner, gel eyeliner, grab your lashes, and let's do a bomb wing liner and throw it back to like 2017. <laughs> I have laid out here my products. I have concealer, I have a brush, I have lashes, I have lash glue, I have mascara, I have my gel eyeliner and my liquid eyeliner as well as some lash little, they're not tweezers, but they're meant to apply your lashes. So with that said, you're also going to need some sort of like makeup remover wipe, which is the one that I have here, and then maybe like a paper towel or a cloth so you can be cleaning your brush as we go. Ooh, we are up close and personal, y'all. Um, you guys are going to see all my pores, all my arrugas, like everything, okay? So don't judge. So first things first is you have to determine what you want to use as far as your eyeliner. Do you want to use a gel or do you want to use a liquid? I personally prefer to go in with a gel eyeliner first just to kind of like map out the wing and then I usually go back in with a liquid so my absolute favorite gel eyeliner at the moment is this one by Inglot I actually purchased this one while I was out in Vegas last month this is the number 77 gel Inglot eyeliner you guys can see <laughs> I use it all the time this eyeliner is bomb take a shot every time I say eyeliner now getting more into liquid eyeliners, I'm gonna show you guys some of my absolute favorites. So the first one is this one by L'Oreal, the Flash Cat Eye, which is this one right here. The really cool thing about it is that it comes with a stencil, which you can just take out. And this is perfect if you need guidance for your eyeliner. If you are a beginner, this one is really good. It is a felt tip, which makes it a lot easier for you to control and like glide onto the eye. So this is a really good affordable drugstore eyeliner. Another drugstore eyeliner is the NYX Matte Eyeliner. I ran out of it and I have not repurchased it. Now, if you want to splurge a little bit more, the Anastasia one, this one is also really, really good. I've had it for a few months now and I really enjoy it. It is a little, it's a brush, but it's almost like a stiff brush. So again, it makes it very easy. A felt tip, I guess that's what it's called. It makes it very easy for you to maneuver your eyeliner. I think that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys as far as eyeliners. With that said, I am going to take this Inglot 31 T brush. As you guys can see, this is very tiny, very, very thin, and it is super sharp. I make my brushes like this by doing this motion. Every time I use the eyeliner, I go like this. So that's going to just really get all those hairs together and squeeze them. Again, I am going to start with a gel eyeliner, taking the Inglot. And I'm only going to take a little bit at a time. Make sure you're covering it if you're not using it. What I like to do is I like to apply some to the back of my hand. Just a little at a time so I don't waste it. And so what I like to do is I like to coat the back 
of the brush. So both sides, so they're nice and wet. So what I like to do and what might make it very easy for you is if you follow your lower lash line. So for me, my lower lash line is right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start winging it out. It really helps if you have your hand stable. I have my table, so I have my elbow on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Anastasia liquid eyeliner and I'm actually going to start drawing the inner part of the eyeliner. I'm going to go back with my gel eyeliner and I'm going to pick up a little bit more products. Now I like my wing to be like perfectly shaped so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tug at my, um, what's it called, at my skin a little bit. I'm going to start drawing connecting the wing from about halfway here and bringing it down. So something like that. Now you want to go with your little paper towel, whatever it is, and clean off the excess eyeliner. Go back one more time and just fix the end. And then you just want to fill it in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fix it a little bit. I am going to take my Huda Beauty um, the coverage concealer and I'm just going to use a tiny 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 bit because this is a pretty full coverage concealer and I am going to take this brush. This is by the brand um, Shop Miss A and it is a flat brush. I've also pretty much flattened this throughout the months that I've used it and I'm going to take a little bit of that concealer and again do the same thing as I did with the eyeliner just apply it on the back of my hand you want to make sure that your brush is nice and coated but you just don't want to overdo it so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the line and make sure that it's as perfect as it can be and sharp Another great tip since I accidentally messed up, don't try to wipe this off right away. Just let it dry and then take a Q-tip or the back of your little spoolie brush and just make sure that you clean it up because if you go in right away when it's wet, it's going to be a hot mess. What I'm going to do is I'm going back to my gel eyeliner and we're just going to extend the wing, the, the wing to really create a like winged out cat eye-esque type of eye since I don't have like a pretty shape by it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is just draw a little, um, like a line. And again, it depends on how you like it. If you want it pointing down, if you want it wanting pointing straight, I like it to point almost like straight to my nose. And then you just want to connect, not the tip, but almost like halfway. Sorry, I can like talk and do it at the same time I'm like super focused do you guys see how this all just like flows together that is exactly what we want all right guys so uh, eyeliner is on let's move on to lashes I'm going to show you my current favorite lash styles from quite a few different brands some of these are drugstore some of these are only found online so let's let's check it out shall we now for a dramatic look like the one i'm wearing right now or a dramatic wing i do like to go with really bold lashes this obviously hello i had to mention them this is my collab with lash kitty if you guys didn't know um i did a collab about a year ago and these are my favorite lashes my absolute favorite ones to wear are drama queen which are these right here they are very, very thick, very full, very fluffy. They are like that 3D style, so they kind of flare out. These are also really good if you don't want them to be too dramatic, but you still want a little bit of drama. Eyelore London Luxe Silk Lashes in the style Marquise. These are really pretty. They're very flirty. They're kind of long, a little bit wispy and fluttery, but they're not as thick or long as the ones that I just showed you, which is my lash, my lash collab. 
Up next is a brand that I recently discovered and I have fallen head over heels with them. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, this is their name. So I'm not going to say it because I really don't know how exactly you pronounce it. So set. I don't know. <laughs> I have two lash pairs here. This one is one that I've worn the most. I'm not sure of the name. I will have it listed down below. But this is this is their new style in the style bay. And these are dramatic. So if you want drama, fluffiness, thickness, volume, all that, these are your lashes. The last lashes that I really like is actually a monthly subscription box. Now I know that I've spoken about these a few times, but I really just can't get over how amazing these lashes are. These are by the brand Ambi Lashes. And again, this is a monthly subscription box, so you can get from one, two, or three pairs of lashes per month right to your home and know this video is not sponsored <laughs> i just really really like them and i don't know it kind of blew my mind to the fact that you can get lashes you know sent to your home monthly like a subscription box so these are my favorite ones these are in the style serene these are a little bit more like flirty not so dramatic but they still have a little bit of like drama and fluff to them this one is also one of my favorites. These are in the style Miami, I think. Yep, Miami. And as you can see, these have such a cute doll-like look to them. They just make your eyes look super flirty. Now for my lash glue, I actually ran out out of my favorite lash glue, so I have to go to Walmart today and buy some. But the one that I'm currently really liking is this one by MB Lashes. It's the same brand of the lashes that I said you can use as a monthly or you can get as a monthly subscription. This one does not go anywhere but my favorite drugstore lash glue is the Kiss. Um, it's the aloe vera one. I don't remember. I will have to insert a picture right here but that one is my absolute favorite 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 lash glue of life. I'm really feeling extra today so I'm going to go for the, the whatever, so sedity, so sedity, lashes in the style bay. My lash glue onto my lashes, I've also already trimmed them. If you guys want to speed up the, the drying process of your lashes, grab your fan and dry them and it'll make it so much easier. If you guys have a hard time applying your lashes, tools like these are going to save your life. I have this one right here, which is full of mascara, and then I have this one right here. I actually bought these from eBay a long time ago, and I really like them. They just make it so easy to apply your lashes. So I'm just going to pop these on really quick. And as you can see, one lash is on, and I'm going to pop on the next one. Now, lashes are on. All you want to do is apply mascara to your bottom lashes. And for just for fun, I'm going to add some little gemstones in the inner corners just to really like bring more attention to the eyes. Also, the very last tip that I have for you guys is to always, always, always make sure you check your homework, okay? You, you've been told that since like a kindergarten. So I'm gonna go back with my Anastasia eyeliner now that I have my lashes. The reason why I like to go back and make sure that my eyeliner is like pretty much perfect is because when you apply lashes, sometimes they will tug at the skin of your lid and it'll pull it down, and it'll mess up your eyeliner. And honey, we have perfect eyeliner, so we're gonna fix it. The look is complete. I think the little gemstones just add like a little touch to the eyes. I absolutely love wearing this. This is actually like my go-to. I am in a rush. I can usually get this look down pretty quickly, um, obviously if I'm not filming and talking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this eyeliner tutorial. I hope you guys learned some new uh, tips and tricks. Also, I hope I got you on some new bomb lashes. Let me know in the description box down below what was your favorite lash style. Are you going to be using any of these tips or tricks or do you even wear eyeliner? Like I feel like nobody including myself in 2019 is wearing eyeliner. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I love you so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy tutorials like these. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.